Welcome back to the Getting Started with iQCA and LBR Easy video series. In the first two videos, I showed you how fast it is to get the robot unboxed and set up, ready to work with. In the second one, I showed you the new user interface. And in this part, I'd like to focus more deeply on the new smart programming method from KUKA. As you can see, LBR Easy is moving this block around on the table back and forth in a simple pick and place application. That application is entirely represented by this program tree you see on the screen. In fact, the program tree is the heart of the smart programming method. In here, I can open and close nodes to see the details of each node. And as LBR Easy is performing all the actions, each node is highlighted in green as it's doing that action. For instance, here, you can see it waiting, closing the gripper, moving it back to the place location, setting it down, opening the gripper again. And all of those are being repeated 10 times right now. With LBR Easy and IQ Smart Programming, making a program like this is really easy. Let me show you how. To give you an idea of how intuitive it is to work with smart programming, I'll use a nearly complete program, just finalizing the last actions and movements. To do that, I'll open the program that already exists, the pick and place demo. And here on the screen, you can see that all the nodes are open. If I close the nodes, you can see the program structure a little bit more clearly. I'll play it. From here, the robot's been commanded to go from a home position to a pick location, close the gripper, and then take it to the top of the arc. And we'll just finalize it to take that block down to the place location, drop the block off, and go back to the home location. The best way to do it is to hand guide. The movements will change are these last four. To take it from the top of the arc to above the place to the place location, I'll add an open gripper command to drop the block, and then I'll take it back to home after it drops the block off. So first, we just click on that one. It calls up the parameter screen. I'll go over to the above place location, Hand guide the robot to an appropriate point. That looks about right. And to add that point to this movement, all I have to do is touch it up and you can see the coordinates change. Then I want to tell the robot where the place location is exactly. So I'll move it down till it's right in this little area. That looks good. With that one highlighted, just touch it up. See the coordinates change? Now I gotta tell the robot to open the gripper. To do that, I just open the node palette and drag the gripper command right in there. To simulate that, all I gotta do is press this button on the screen. Now I wanna move it again above the pick and then back to home and that'll be the end of the program. So I've already trained that point, so I can go back in here and choose the point that I trained. And then I can also choose the home position again. So if you already have points trained, you can see them in the 3D scene. So if I go back into the scene, you can now see that all the points for the program are represented there. For instance, this is the top of the arc and the home location is in behind it. And then you have the point above the pick and the point at the pick. And then over here you have the point at the place and the point above the place. So all those things are now what are in your program, makes it nice and easy and fast to recognize where your program points are and spot any mistakes. Now I'll go back to the program screen. Let's say I wanted to add an action like a wait node. All I have to do is open this up and I tell it right at the beginning, I want it to wait, let's say five seconds. That wait can be attached to other things such as if there's a door opening on a machine. So all that's left to do is test it. Put the block back at the start location, enable it and press play. And there you have it. A final program made quickly and easily with IQ Smart Programming. There's a lot more to explore, including repeat loops and other types of complex actions, but for now, we'll leave it at that. I hope you've seen how intuitive it is to build a robot program, even if you don't have any robotics expertise. Thanks for watching. Industrial Intelligence.